Okay, exciting time today. Today I am going to hopefully be getting to test ride the Honda CBR 1000R, no, CBR 650R. And the whole idea is I want to just see, because one, I think it looks beautiful. It looks amazing, the, especially in red. Also in black, looks super cool as well. So uh, both of them are looking amazing. But I'm riding the CB1000R, which uh, has around about 50 more uh, horsepower and is, um, is just brilliant and more of a street. So I think this is what they call a street shape bike rather than a sports bike. Um, so I'm going to take this, ride this to the Honda garage to, uh, and then I can do a real kind of feeling of what's it like going from the 145 horsepower 11,000 rpm cb1000 going down to a full fairing sports bike cbr 650 r uh, so let's um let's get out of here and see how today goes i have been using this to commute today and it has been doing a fantastic job Because I haven't had my license for a full year, uh, one of their staff at the shop needs to come out on the ride with me. It's all for insurance purposes. Um, so one of their staff's got to follow me on the CBR 650R, and uh, hopefully I'm allowed to just ride it how I would. So hopefully we'll get some fruity, fruity riding. But uh, yeah, again, this bike. It's low down, torque feels good, it's easy to manoeuvre. I'd really like to actually test that out in there. Uh, they've got a little car park inside. Just practice like the three point, not three point turns, but the U-turns and the figure of eights um, before I take it out on the actual road. Um, and yeah, this bike over this bumpy road in first gear is not jerking me around. So again, for slow speeds, CB1000R, and just having that 1000, having knowing that you've got all that power, is so good um it's also like i'm saying this bike is almost like two bikes in one you've got your bike that goes from 2000 revs to 6000 which is absolutely perfect for commuting like you it's just brilliant and then you've got your 6000 to 11000 which is your bike for getting yourself into a bit of trouble so that's what i'm going to be interested to see if the cbr is a different beast from this but let's head off to uh, the garage another thing i'll be interested in is if it's just as stable as this bike this bike 18 miles an hour 70 miles an hour no hands down a hill just it doesn't feel sketchy in any sort of way right i'm going to nip to the front of the cube this one uh, and if you know does it feel as easy to navigate through traffic uh, as this because the handlebars are definitely different um, from this. This is, I think they're clip-on handlebars, which is even more, uh, you know, narrow and a bit more mental. So that's something which, uh, the narrower handlebars, which I think will be more like here, you know, this, this is quite a commanding position of this. Um, so yeah, that's something I would be interested to see how it feels and what my initial experiences are, you know, first, first impressions. Um, of, and also is the horsepower difference at 95 compared to 145 um, this one revving up to I think this one gets its peak horsepower around about uh, 10,500 the CBR is 11,000 something something so a little bit you have to rev it even more than this so yeah hopefully hopefully get go for a jolly Here is the demonstrator with a courtesy wasp and this one I've been told has the quick shifter. Don't know how they can tell, maybe that's something to do with it. 
But yeah, the CBR 650R in black is actually very cool as well. But I think red is just a little bit cooler uh, as well. So hopefully, <laughs> get that in a sec. So where? So how do I? Just change gear without the clutch. Can you do that at slow speed as well? Nah, higher revs, higher pace. So, so, you, so that's not for like going around slow in town and. You're, you're, and better, you're, you're better just. Um, you're better just uh, doing it when you're out having a bit of fun. Okay, when you're having fun. And how yeah. can I, from viewing it, how do I know, like if I was looking at other bikes in there, how do I know that that is a quick shifter? Because it's got a wire coming out of this linkage here. And yeah. Like, like so the wire's that's sending like an information. It's electronic, yeah. So an electronic yeah. signal to the yeah. engine to change so gears. So what you want to do is try and get a wee twisty session for him to have a wee play with the quick shifter. This one, hmm. a lot more. I like the full fairing and it just, it just looks fast even when it's just standing still. Um, and I just want to see if it's comfortable enough because that's very comfortable. Just wonder if this is comfortable, you know, just the total different seating. It's not very different at all. Yeah, it's, it's not much different. Yeah. And I'm actually, I'm more flat footed on this than than, the, than the, that one. You, did, you pretty much just leaned over a little bit further. Yeah. That's all that is, to be fair. You see, you've got the fair end, so the wind doesn't really bother you much on it. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll get you ahead of it. Okay. So. So in wait, okay, gear gear selector there, all that's good. Exhaust. Ooh, a little bit more wobbly.
on the front wheel just how easy it is to move that at slow speeds which I think is why it felt wobbly at the start This just really requires a more sporty rider, not me. But yeah. And then when you want to get right down, going proper speed. Yes, this is going to be good. position uh, so not massively I think this position might just not be for my body like it's great that you're straight all the way down there like very easy compared to the CB1000 but uh, yeah it's just quite tucked up whenever I'm actually in it and that initial rev is I haven't quite got that smoothed out yet and we're now stuck behind the lawnmower.
but the left leg definitely feels like it needs to be straight so because it's a hip area. on the 
um, is linear, it's good for all that. It's squirrely at slow speeds here, it really wants to like, get straight up to 4,000 revs every single time I've been at a standstill. Always a quick like, ah! at the start. Well, once you're moving, oh, it just makes you want to go around corners. This makes me really want to go to attractive. Um, I would not feel confident doing my uh, mod one uh, test on this, uh, just because it felt just so so squirrely, I guess, as we describe it. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can do a not 4,000 revs pull away here. Oh, 3,000. No, 4,000. <laughs> Cannot get that much. Just this really makes you want to just absolutely go for it as well. And it sounds amazing. No, 4,000 again. Uh, oh, that was in second gear. Still away in second gear. Absolutely fine. Oh, look at that boy. Rather than anything else. Otherwise, what an amazing bike. Oh. Uh. The position, I'm trying to see how it feels compared to mine. Yeah, it's a lot more, a lot more attack. Uh, much more, like my hands are killing me from like, just like all my weight kind of pushing down uh, on there. Um, and my left hip is, because I've been squeezing the tank there, just that leg is absolutely killing me just now. Uh, in terms of the actual bike itself, it's cool. Can't uh, get it to rev gently from standstill. Every time it was a pull off, it'd always be like, boom, straight to 4,000. I'm like, fuck, fuck, every single time. Uh, couldn't get it to do a smooth pull off unless that's just something that. And th so that's the other thing that was quite interesting is for me, how this doesn't move. So all my bikes, as soon as I move, everything I see in front of me moves. This, I was like, what the hell? This doesn't move. It's, that, that was a, that's a new experience for me, um, having that do that. Uh, and it just, it just looks so cool. Yeah, good fun. Like, you, were getting, see, you were getting used to it. The, you, were to it or you would definitely get used to it. I, de I definitely want to take it to a track. That feels like you want to do, like... <laughs> just mostly go all the time. Man. Yeah. It does, it certainly does. Cool, right, okay, uh, I shall go in and... Mm, so very cool. Also very cool. CBR definitely looks significantly cooler. No doubt about that. Just need to work on my physical ability to sit on it. Nice. Okay, back on to the CB1000R and oh, he's, he's angry, he's angry, give him a neutral, <laughs> revving 2000 revs, just sitting here doing nothing, oh, oh so good, but then chill, then he's chill. So, away is easier to control at slow speeds. The bigger, more expensive, more powerful bike, far less twitchy at slow speeds there. You know, just in terms of holding the the handlebars and also just not having that cowl at the front. Any way I point my handlebars is where everything goes. There's no kind of confusion going on there. So yeah. And this is, yeah, this 1000cc engine. Yeah, so without, without doubt, I could definitely see that at slow speeds through town, the CB1000R is significantly easier. Just check for everyone. Significantly easier and very smooth to 
to ride around the city. As a commuter bike, when carrying your rucksack, like, oh, my hips don't hurt, my hands don't hurt, uh, my back position is, is a lot better. Um, yeah, the CBR is a race bike. Uh, I need to be a racer for that. Uh, pardon me. I need to be a racer for that. And uh, there's definitely like hip, hip positions, and knee positions, and hip positions. dangerously easy to ride. If I was to do my uh, Mod 1 and Mod 2 license uh, training, the CB1000 would be absolutely fine. Like an easy bike to do it on. Vastly easier than the CBR650. So the 650 would be a smaller engine and an even lighter bike, but uh, just the position is just so much more tough. Enjoyable, definitely a bike for taking on the track. Definitely a bike for short, like proper race stints and really just loving corners. Uh, but in terms of actual living with, riding, commuting, uh, the CB1000 is my jam. It's my jam. It wins, it wins for me. But at the same time, it is about 4,000 pounds more expensive. However, I am seeing one of these for second hand, maybe uh, last gener last season, last years, whatever, for about 8,500. So 8,500 for a second hand one of these, which is done maybe a couple thousand miles, or eight or 9,000 for a brand new CBR 600. That's, I know which one, oh, I don't know. I, I know which one I'd like to look at the most, that's the CBR, because it looks amazing. But in terms of my body shape, my length of limbs and all that kind of jazz, the CBR is, is too uncomfortable, at the moment at least. And the CB1000 is brilliant. However, I would say the power as well, the power in the CBR felt much more smooth, much more linear. There wasn't that lull between six and seven. Um, or five, six, seven kind of area, and then you know, you know, absolutely crap yourself. It felt uh, more confidence. So this has scared me. This is so powerful. It scared me a little bit. The CBR uh, was the right level of power to be fast, exciting, exhilarating, but not terrifying and scary. Um, at least at my stage in uh, biking uh, experience. So yeah, there you go. That's that's my thought. CBR. An amazing bike, just not for my body shape uh, at the moment, but definitely one I want to have in my bike stable, in my bike garage uh, in the future. Don't need more power, don't need more gizmos or anything like that. It just looks, it looks fast going still. Black is cool, red is, I think is cooler. I can't, I can't quite tell which one I like. And the gold engine covers and all that stuff, I think it's cool with a red uh, spring at the back. Uh, so it looks a hundred times better than the CB, but uh, the CB for actual owning and living with, definitely the one I would choose. And CB is so much easier to deal with the kind of accelerator and that uh, instant pull away. But yeah, there you go, that was my review, my test ride with the CBR 650 and riding it back to back with the CB 1000R. And, uh, and one last thing to mention was the, the quick shifter. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a learning experience which uh, I don't think I've fully learnt or got used to that on that one hour test ride. Uh, but that definitely seems very cool and definitely way to definitely go a lot faster, a lot quicker. Whenever you're at full, full throttle, certainly the CBR, um, using the quick shifter and getting used to not coming off the accelerator and not having to put in the clutch is a whole different experience of acceleration because it's just your full throttle and it's when you change gear in my head i'm expecting either come off the throttle 
or uh, putting, pulling the clutch and because there's no dropping power it just goes it just keeps on going it's just astonishing uh, how fast that I can feel so trying to get to like even two gears with a quick shifter is mental especially if you're at the full 8 to 10 to 11,000 rpm uh, and a full full throttle but uh, yeah, so that's what I'd like to get on this. Totally unnecessary and not something that will ever be used in town, but it's definitely something that's very cool. So yeah, definitely if it's getting any of these bikes, you can get a quick shifter. Very cool thing to have. Even though you might never use it, it's just very cool to be able to use it. Okay, there you go. That fight, that is the end of the video.